This is Gilgood, who was without a doubt one of the great actors of this century or any for that matter. He suffered insecurities of all kinds. Um, he was constantly falling in love with people <laughs> and didn't work out. He did love the theater. But he says, life is not all that amusing, and there is a little to look forward to, I find, except struggling to find jobs that absorb one, and mutual sweetness and confidence in the people one loves, and who forgive one's trespasses. Well, I don't mean to preach, but it's Sunday, and I'm sad. <laughs> That you'll find in an actor's score most of the time. There's a sadness there. Um, Why? Because you don't know what's coming next. It may all look very assured. Um, for instance, I'm sad about Dion, who is playing Orlando in As You Like It. He's now in Lord of the Rings. And he's going to Toronto. I'll probably never see him again. I want him to stay. I said, Dion, you're good. You could play Othello in another year or so. Stay here. But this is a wonderful opportunity. He's going, of course. Mm -hmm. But he reminds me so much of James Earl Jones, whom I worked with way back in the year that Kennedy was assassinated, who was a shy, introverted man. And look what he became. And I see this happening to Dion. But he's, Dion is insecure at this point. He will say, do you think I'm all right in that first speech? I said, Dion, you're wonderful. You're doing just fine. Talk to me. Forget about the audience. They're there. But I said, we know each other very well. All we have to do is talk to one another. We know what we're saying now. And I said, have confidence in yourself. He's got everything given to me. He's a extremely handsome guy, very intelligent, very dedicated, right on the line. He can't miss, but the doubt is there.